Welcome to Restream. This is your number one guide to show you everything you need to know right now to get started with Restream. So let's get right into it. Randy from Restream here. Let's start by heading over to Restream.io and creating our free account. Our main dashboard here is split into two sections. You have your quick list of all your scheduled events here on the right, and on the left, you have some quick options to get you started. The first two options are your instant streaming options. These options allow you to go live directly from Restream Studio or your encoders such as OBS Studio or vMix. Stream a video file and schedule an event both allow you to schedule your events. The first option enables you to schedule a pre-recorded video to go live. The second option allows you to create an event for your stream. And of course, the final option here is our record only mode which takes you to Restream Studio, turning it into a powerful video recorder. Now that you have the gist of what's happening here, let's jump straight into adding our channels. From here, you can add any of over 30 destinations to your stream. To add a channel, select the destination you want and then follow the prompts on screen. If you're looking for some of our most popular destinations, check out the playlist linked in the card above. Now that you've got your channels added, it's time to give your audience the heads up that you're planning to go live. Scheduling events is a surefire way to increase viewership and engagement during your live streams. Luckily, Restream supports creating events on multiple platforms at once. To access that, click Schedule Event from our main dashboard page. Now, here's where you can choose how you want to stream to this event. Restream Studio allows you to use our very own streaming studio, built to simplify your streaming life. Find out more about Restream Studio by clicking the card above now. The second option gives you an RTMP URL, so you can stream to this event from your encoders such as OBS Studio, Zoom, or vMix, and others. The final option gives you the ability to schedule a video you can upload to Restream, or you can select from a previous live stream you've already done. Once you've selected how you'll stream, you can continue to fill out the details of your event. On this screen, you can select which channels you want this event to be created on, and then you can go ahead and click Create Event. If you want to boost the popularity of your event, then it may be time to pair with one of your friends or brand partners to stream on their channels. Check out the card above now for a tutorial on how to pair your next event. Now that our event is created, it's time to go live. If you're looking to go live with Restream Studio, you can quickly enter Restream Studio by choosing Enter Studio from the event card. For a deep dive in our studio, check out the card above. However, if you choose to go live from your encoder, the process is only slightly different. To get started, click RTMP Settings from the event card. Now, you'll want to copy and paste these credentials into your broadcasting software such as OBS Studio or vMix. Once you go live, Restream will automatically start broadcasting your stream out to all of the channels you connected to your event. We'll also begin collecting all of your audience chat messages for you. If you're using Restream Studio, you'll find these messages under the chat tab. You can also overlay the chat directly onto your stream or highlight individual messages instantly. For those streaming from an encoder, you can access our chat at chat.restream.io. If you're on the standard plan or above, then that means you have access to our video storage option. Once you're finished with your first stream, you'll be able to navigate into your video storage and see your previous streams. You can then download the entire video or just the audio. For those of you streaming with Restream Studio, you have the added benefit of split audio tracks. That means you get separate audio tracks for each guest and source you had in your stream. Enabling podcasters the perfect balance between particularly talkative sections of your live shows. You can also quickly schedule your past live streams for audiences in a different time zone. And last but not least, we have Restream Analytics, providing you with a detailed look at your streaming performance from peak times to average viewers and everything in between. We'll also email you instantly after your streams to let you know how things went and giving you access to your instant streaming report. These can be invaluable in your streaming careers early and late stages to evaluate what's working well and what isn't. And that's it. You've got everything you need to know to get started on your restreaming journey. So why not get started now by clicking the link pinned in the comment section below for an exclusive deal for our YouTube subscribers. And if you like this video, 
make sure to slap that like button and hit subscribe. As always, I've been Randy from Restream and have yourself a fantastic stream.